Hey guys, this is Triller. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a nice 3D text and put it in a real life image on Cinema 4G. Uh, it's just what I did on this on this speed art. Um, first, you have to find an easy image where you can import 3D text. I will use this one. So just when you open Cima 4D, go to render, render settings, output and put it 1280 per 720. Um, now you will add a new background. We'll now new material, double click on the material, color, uh, texture and choose your image your footage uh, no and drag your material on the background now you have to add your text I will type trailer I will add um, I will choose font Okay, this one. So now you have to place your text. Mm So I place my my text. Uh, now I will put the depth to 80. Okay. Um, now if you render, you will see your text in your background. Um, what we have to do now is add a new plane. The plane. Uh, uh, is to is where the the shadows is going to be placed. So you have to place your plane. Um, under your text. Okay, now mm, yeah. Now if we if we add now what we have to do is click on the material that is in the background, hit control and drag it to the plane and if you render you'll see a black square on the floor and we don't want that we want it transparent so right click on the plane cinema 4g tags compositing and click on compositing background now here we have it it's transparent now we will have some lights uh, we, seen this, we can see the sun right there it really depends on, on your image um, so let me we, you have to put your text uh, in your light where the where the light comes from and you will put shadow map soft and if you render you can see the shadows but we have to place it on the right place okay um yeah it's you 
you can have a new light. Uh, it's your choice, um, but I don't really you uh, use light, um, so we can be away from the light. I prefer to use my render settings effects. So if you go to render setting. Um, go to effect, ambient occlusion and the contrast you will put it about 20 and the maximum ray light put it uh, 130 now if you render it out uh, the render time it will it will take a little bit longer to render but the shadows will will be much realistic as you can see here on the floor you can see these nice shadows that gives a um, professional look it's very important and nice uh, now what we will do is just edit our text uh, let me just show you as you can see in this in this uh, speed art I use the color on the front and the color on the side so if you want to do that um, I will create a first this color a dark gray or black um, drag it on the text and create a new tag a new color maybe this nice orange and I will add some reflection put down the brightness and add Fresnel and put the mix range about uh, 50 15 uh, so drag it and the color you want on the front must be on the right side uh, on the right side of the other one so I want the black one on the front now click on the color go to the selection and put C1 if you render this out you will have uh, the color uh, the black on the front orange on the sides so now I will add some caps uh, fillet cap fillet cap radius 3, three. Uh, now if you render you will see this orange stroke on the on the on your text um, now I will add a light right here because now I can see the orange on the sides a little bit more yeah and another one in the front of oh in front of the text so render Okay, that's it. That's what you have to do if you want to put 3D text on a real image, a real footage, a 2D image. Uh, you have to to take attention, to pay attention on the contact uh, with the plane and the text object. It uh, th it can't be touching it because it's look really bad. So you can drag it a little bit up. Okay, I think it's too much. Yeah, but I think you you got the picture. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
hope you like this tutorial um, tell me what you want for next tutorials um, 